What's up guys? So when you talk about these up and coming updates, I cannot believe my eyes. And you know what's funny guys is I knew these two perks were gonna get nerfed. The Scourge Chokes of Pain and um Pop Goes a Weasel combo has become a very popular combo for um top tier killers, sweaty killers. It is a very deadly combo, and I knew behavior was gonna mess with it, bro. Here we go. Let's get into this really quick. So Chucky is getting Heidi Ho cooldown. 12 seconds, 18 seconds. Chucky can no longer scamper unless he's performing a slice and dice attack. What the fuck are you guys thinking, behavior? Chucky doesn't... I was cool with the first one. Decreases time, but he can't scamper anymore? Chucky is already such a tricky killer to use when you're taking away that scamper mode. And they're decreasing the scamper time by 0.1. Um, the cannibal's getting a huge buff, so I feel like there's going to be a lot more cannibal players. He's getting, uh, increased chainsaw 2.5 seconds per token, increased chainsaw speed, movement speed from 5.35, it was 5.29, that's crazy. Decreased collision, uh, collision detection to help navigate in tight spaces. Decreased, uh, base tantrum time to 3 seconds, it was 5, that's huge on him, I feel like not a lot of people use him. Deathslinger is getting a small buff. That's cool. The Mastermind is taking a huge gash, dude. Hindered penalty now is for infection is 4% instead of 8. And the infection now is reduced to 1% when hooked. And it was 50%. He's getting a hit. Blight, same crap. They keep changing his add-ons. They can't figure out like what they want to do with that compound and the iridescent tag. They don't know what they're doing with Blight. Couple perks I want to talk about. Toolboxes, faster sabo speeds, whatever. Deadlock. Behavior. Why would you touch deadlock, dude? Deadlock was such a It was perfectly balanced. There was nothing wrong with it, dude. Gen rushing is a thing in this game. Toolboxes aren't getting nerfed, but you're nerfing a killer perk that slows down gen rushing. By five seconds, that's a huge deal. Five seconds is a lot in this game. Background player, it's getting a small nerf, 150%, and then the exhaustion times are lowered, which makes sense. And that's not that big of a deal. It sucks that it's two on it, that it's going down, but whatever. Any perk that can help save your teammates, I feel like shouldn't be messed with, because it's already pretty tough to, you know, to make those kind of plays. Grim Embrace. They're decreasing the time, bro. From 6, 8 to 10 seconds. What? Decisive Strike. They just changed it. And now they're reducing it to 4 seconds, dude. Like behavior. The 5 seconds was completely fine, bro. This was a little too effective. What do you mean it was too effective? The, the ki You want to stop killers from tunneling survivors off the hook. Five seconds was p punishing enough. It gave them enough time to get away. What? Pop goes the weasel. One of their most iconic favorite perks in the game. Getting a whole 10% hit. What? The killer's only defense against survivors if they gen rush. Oh, 10%, dude. And I knew it, bro. I knew it. A lot of sweaty players have been running the pop and pain resonance, and I'm going to show you guys. Buckle up. The endurance is getting taken off. Whatever, you know. So, you know, it's whatever. I don't use buckle up. Right here, dude. Pain resonance. What? Behavior. You only get four. And you, you only get four hits at 25%. And you will have to hook each and every survivor. There's some matches where you don't even get to hook some of the survivors. So you only get, like, slight value out of it. And they're gouging it by a whole 5%. And 5% may not seem like a lot, but it really is when, it, when you, like, crunch down numbers and times, dude. And of course, Invocation Weaving Spiders is getting a buff because it's crap. Everyone knew it was crap. No one uses it. 120 seconds was way too long. Now it's 60 seconds. So that's why they're buffing it. And now watch. The new meta is going to be invoca this, the Invocation perk. And the next patch, Behavior is going to freaking rework it.
and bring it back to closer to 120 seconds. Um, there's a new the new map rework, the decimated Borgo is getting reworked, which I'm cool with that. Um, new items rework. Uh, let's see, new rework pop up for items found within trial. So it's like a pop up. Um, dude, but I'm I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I I'm a little bummed about this. All like the gen regression perks getting hit this hard. I feel like behavior wants to slow the game. Maybe they want to slow the game down. But dude, the survivors you're not you're nerfing these things, but the survivors still have the same perks and the same toolboxes. I don't think you guys understand how a freaking four stack efficient team how fast they can do these gens, dude. And you are slashing the killer's only line of defenses to slow them down. Yeah, oh, man, I don't know. I just had to make this video because I actually watched a video on this update and I was so shocked that I had to make it. And I don't know. I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever, dude. I think it's I think it's BS. I think I think they just keep playing with these perks. They don't know what they want. I think DS was fine at five seconds. I think bringing it down to four is silly in my book. I think it's making you guys look like you, you guys are just confused over there. You know, you don't know what, what you want to make, what choices you want to make. Deadlock has been a perk that's been completely fine. And you're you're hitting it now for whatever reason. I don't even understand. You're messing up the new meta, Pain Residence and Pop. I mean, it is a powerful meta, but those two perks, you know, they're not that. It, they're relying on hooking a survivor. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, you don't just get the the gen uh regression right off the right off the bat you have to actually work hook a survivor to get it and i feel like that's why they're nerfing those perks is because of that combo because sweaty players i'm not gonna lie i've been running that combo too it's very powerful uh very powerful combo so i you know honestly i knew in the back of my mind that this combo wasn't gonna be you know was gonna get nerfed or work reworked soon it just sucks that they're doing it now, like this, when the survivors still have all their... Not only that, like, they're giving the survivors more gen power now. Like, they're giving them the invocation perk that's getting a buff, you know? So, it looks like they're buffing the survivors for gens, and they're nerfing the killers for gens. So, that that's crazy. Alright, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think.